Here's some notes on slow CYP2D6 metabolizers. The genetics of this condition are being homozygous for non-functional CYP2D6 alleles. This occurs in about 5 to 10% of Caucasians, and it's lower in other ethnicities. It's an autosomal recessive inheritance pattern. So if you're heterozygous, you might still have enough CYP2D6 to not have any effects. Patients with this homozygous trait significantly have reduced uh, enzyme activity of CYP2D6, and this results in increased adverse drug reactions for some medications that use CYP2D6. You also have reduced efficiency of prodrugs that require CYP2D6 for activation. The main drugs that are affected are codeine and tramadol, where you might have reduced or absent analgesic effects. You have failed conversion to their active metabolites. You should use alternatives that are not metabolized by this enzyme. Some other medicines that are affected, SSRIs and antipsychotics, might have higher plasma concentrations at standard doses. They generally require a 25 to 50% dose reduction, and you should monitor them closely. Beta blockers and tamoxifen might also be affected. Management strategy, you should do genotype-guided dosing if that's available. If not, you should use other medicines that are not metabolized by CYP2D6, and more frequent monitoring is required either way. If you really don't know what's going on, you should consider a dose reduction of about 50% uh, for affected medications just in case.